Hello everybody, Grace Two Blaze, and we're back with more Train Mechanic Simulator 2017, and the game just came out, for real. So everyone can get it if they want. It is in the description below, so feel free to do as you please. You can see I'm already towing a train here. This is actually where we left off last time. I think it was, uh, I don't know, it said like a there's, a, there's a strange smoking object coming from a nearby town or something like that. It's like a UFO crashed or something, but no. It's a train. Well, it was a train. Now it's just the cart of a train on its side. It was very sad. Let's go to the repair and find out what could possibly be wrong. What was smoking up in the mountains of Asia? I say the mountains of Asia because I think there was a road called, like, Asian Road or something. I don't know. It seemed very, very, uh, at almost uh, some level of impropriety. <laughs> The probable cause of the damage is the malfunction of one of the exhaust system components of the locomotive's engine. Throttle valves are suspected. Okay, throttle valves. Well, we know a little bit about the engine because we were inside of one last time. There it is. Let's go check it out. First things first. There it is, boys. I told you, every time you see those covers like this, you know who the usual suspects are. We can go ahead and test this right quick, but we know what's gonna what it's gonna say. 34%, huh? Get up out of there, valve cover. I don't have time for you. Now, we do have... Oh, my God. Isn't there, like, six of these things we need? Five. So, we need five different things. Oh, look at this. You can already tell. Right here. Right over... I think right over there. Um, yeah, they look pretty bad. I'm gonna go ahead and test just to make sure. But, th yep, there you go. Look at this. This is gonna be it right here. We're gonna get them all in one shot. This is gonna be a quick job. I do want to get this stuff done... Some of you guys were like, Gray, you need to play, you need to do like 16 jobs or something. <laughs> I can't do that many. I don't think I can. Um, I'm going to do as many as I can. But we do have to take a little bit. I, I have to take a little bit of my time here. Oh, these just slip right off, man. That's what I'm talking about. Yes. Look at it. The valves come right off. There we go. And we should be pretty much done at that point. Uh, yep, that's everything. Oh, this is gonna be the fastest job we ever done did. That's kind of whatever. Okay, over here to the mechanics bench, and you can see. 100%. Okay, now, yeah, I know a couple of you guys are laughing at me about that. I'm looking very carefully, and it all says 100%. So let's see if, yes, 100%. So let's see if we can repair this with no issues. Okay, so far, so good. Yes. Yes, the chance of success is 100% for real now, folks. That's what I like to see. I'll tell you what else. Strange things are afoot on YouTube. Actually, they're not. Um, I get every once in a while. It's not, it's not like all the time, but I've seen this for the last... How long have I been doing this now? Like 14 months, 15 months of getting my ass kicked on YouTube? Um, I get a comment every once in a while, and it's like, Do you have to talk so much? I don't know if people realize what I do here. <laughs> I mean, thank you for finding the channel randomly, but that's such a strange comment. Yes, I do have to talk because I'm a jerk. No, it's, it's because this would be a terrible gig if all I did was just play the game silently to myself and never interact with you folks. And I do, like... You might say to yourself, well, great, you're not actually here with me. Yes, I am, damn it. Look to your right. No, but for real, I mean, like I said, I do try, well, I do legitimately reply to a lot of comments, or I try to, you guys know. But when I don't reply to them, you know, with the typey types, I do reply to them here a lot, like me talking with you now. So, like, you know, I saw the comment where the one guy was like, I'm a, I'm a race car driver and I like playing race car games. Being a race car driver and playing race car games was probably a bad example of what I meant. Uh, because not only do you have a sweet job, you get to, like, play games that are also cool as well. We're gonna go ahead and finish this order, man. We made out, like, freaking gangbusters right here. What's next on the chopping block? I think, and I'm not 100% sure, because I was looking at the... I was looking at the forum for this game, and some people had said, like, the steam engines aren't in the game yet? Like, they're not- I don't know, man. Other folks were saying you have to get through all the diesel stuff to get there. Look at this. We're on job, uh, 10 through 12 of 25. Like I said, man, there is a lot of jobs. We got order number 10, 11, and 12. During the test ride, the driver complained that the engine runs too loudly. <laughs> 
you know, I, I mean, I guess, you know, when you're, when you're the engineer of a, of, when you're the conductor of a train, I guess you can sit there by ear and be like, you know, guys, this engine is running way too loud. Because I'd be like, I don't know, it's like, aren't they, aren't they kind of loud all the time? Is this one more loud than the other? Uh, order number 11, brake failure. Okay. And order number 12, the train has a problem with the fuel tank. It is leaky and fuel is leaking from it. <laughs> Every once in a while, there's a sentence in this game that just blows my mind. It is leaky and there is fuel leaking from it. Yes, there... Uh, you know what? We're going to do order number 12. We haven't messed around with fuel tanks yet at all. I'm going out of order, but damn it, we're going to do whatever we want. And it's only one part, so it looks like we're going to go right past this real quick. Now, I do believe that the fuel tanks are... Well, I think I just found the problem, boys. I think I just found the problem. We'll double check, but... Yep. <laughs> there you go. 27%. Oh, what do you need to take this off, I wonder? Um... I imagine you have to take all these compressed air tanks off first. Oh, they just slip right off. Well, look, wow. Okay, so the fuel tank legitimately just comes right off the bottom of the train. Wouldn't have known that. Don't know if it's the same way in real life, but in the game, I'm so glad that it's that easy. Repair. Oh, that's going to be easy money. Oh, the money is so easy. We didn't even have to remove a bolt. Actually, we haven't removed any bolts yet, have we? I don't think we have. Um, well, let's go install. This should be no issues right there, and then a little bit of compressed air, and we are done with another job. So maybe I will get, like, ten jobs done this episode. I don't know. Finish the order. We've got a lot of cash to spend, too, by now, I think. I don't know if I want to save any for, like, the steam or the, uh, the electric, the electric engines. Anyway, so this is now, now we're, like, eight minutes back from where I was talking about. But, yeah, so, I don't know, maybe if it was, like... I don't know, I'm trying to think of like a game about a job that was boring and they made a game about it anyway. Like, like Cubicle Worker Simulator 2018 or something like that. I guess if you like worked in a cubicle and you hated it and then like you played a game that was all about working in a cubicle and hating it, that would, that would not make, uh, you, you guys, you guys get what I'm saying, right? I hope you do. So it says, uh, let's see here, the engine or the brake system failure. I guess we'll do the loud engine. How hard can it be, right? We're pretty good at locating engine stuff now. How many pieces? Man, one piece. Did that say the flywheel? Replace the flywheel. Okay, I don't know where the flywheel is on a uh, on a train. So this is gonna be new and exciting. Uh, I imagine it's on the front here? Yep. Man, I tell you what. Thank God for all the freaking car games I've been playing. It's actually teaching me something. How horrible is that? Gaming is teaching me things. What do we have here? Oh, the perforated plate. Very good. And the flywheel comes right off. So yeah, I'm learning stuff through uh, through gaming. I hope you guys are as well. 100%. I'm checking, guys. <laughs> I'm checking. Same thing, uh, same thing for my vocabulary. Although I don't flex it very much. Every once in a while, I may say things that seem out of the ordinary. And that's just because gaming has, in has improved my vocabulary skills in ways that I would have never have expected. And I hope it continues to do so. Uh, back to the installation mode. Perforated plate. Why don't you slide? This is weird. Wouldn't you put on the flywheel first? I guess not. Whatever. Okay. Anywho. Man, we are freaking, we are freaking trucking, baby. I have never seen us complete jobs this fast. Get up out of here. Give me my $1,000, too. Oh, $1,500. I'm sorry. $1,500. Use your hard-earned cash to improve things. I don't need to improve nothing. The only thing I need to do is get these jobs done. What's next? Job order number 11. The train has a system, a brake system failure. Bring it on in. I love brake system failures. Been a little while since we had to work on any brakes, actually. Oh, here we go. Now we've got pieces, boys. Now we've got pieces. All right, let's go ahead and rip the body off here. We'll rip it off. Up, oh, there you go. Hydraulics right there on both sides. Oh, wow, and I see something else over there as well. All right, let's start ripping her off. Because I think you boys know exactly what we're dealing with. We're dealing with these hydraulic pipes over here. Oh, the hoses. I'm sorry. Hoses. More hoses over there. And I can see something else. I think this piston? Yep. Totally. Totally the piston. Oh, man. We are right on track for all kinds of loveliness. Let's go ahead and flip a do over here. Rip these bolts on off. And there is this other piston over here is looking like crap as well. Uh, and if not only is the other piston looking like crap, man, I can't remember what that is off the top of my head. 
Um, it's gotta be like the hydraulic piston con- Yep, see the hydraulic brake piston connector. I knew it was something like that. Let's go ahead and take this brake piston off. And the last piece comes up. I think that that's it. Yes. I was seeing so I was seeing as well. Someone said like, um, I love your videos, but your voice is annoying. I'm sorry. I don't know. Maybe I'll change my voice. Maybe we'll do like smooth jazz train mechanic simulator 2017. I can't do that. I would freaking get a sore throat if I did that crap. Maybe someone can, but I can't. I'm gonna, um, maybe I'll hire uh, Morgan Freeman or something. I'll just, I'll, I'll like transcribe everything I want him to say for the episode and he can just talk. Maybe that'll, that's what's gonna, that's what's gonna expand this channel. <laughs> oh, Morgan Freeman, if you're watching this, give me an email. <laughs> I'll bet there's someone out there with the account Morgan Freeman. Make sure to comment on the video. <laughs> I'll if I get a hundred Morgan Freeman comments, I'll feel excellent about life and my choices. All right, uh, we should be set with everything. Hold on here, let me double check. Yeah, we're set with everything. Okay, hydraulic brake pistons. Let's go ahead and throw those on the hoses as well, and we are going to be set for another job. Is that that's four jobs in what like? 12 minutes? 10 minutes? I don't even know, man. But we're moving right along. Right over here, brake connector, brake piston connector. Let's go ahead and put this in, get the hydraulic brake pistons in, and get this thing out of here. All right. On go the hoses. I think that that is it. It is. Let's go ahead and finish her up. That's right, train man. You can thank me later when you're not running over innocent bystanders because your brakes are all jacked up. Yes. All right. I think that's all, that was all of our current jobs, wasn't it? That means we're gonna get a new segment of jobs. Oh, we only get one new segment of jobs. One of the suburban station. On one of the suburban stations, the locomotive is stuck and is not able to effectively accelerate. It has been towed to the workshop and requires repair. This looks like some serious engine failure. Ooh, serious engine failure. What do we do? Oh my God, no. Oh no, all right. Well, we're about to make our money now. Remember how I said that everything was moving so smoothly? That just ended. I can already see something. I can already, see oh God, we got it on both sides. That sounded terrible. Let's go ahead and start testing all this. Of course, both of these valve covers are shot. Oh yeah, oh yeah, they're jacked. Let's go ahead and rip this on off, rip this on off. I can already see some of the uh, combustion chamber, chamber covers are goners as well. Oh my God, are all these shot? Hold on. Let's go ahead and test it. This one I know for sure. Boom, right there. Let's go ahead and get real deep down here. Camshaft's looking a little rough too. I don't know. Oh, wow. All right, man. I got that one right off the bat. All right, boys. What else do you see around here? What else do you see around here? What do you think? How about these covers? Uh, not the covers. Um... Hold on. Oh, right here. That's what it was. The valve tap it. How about that one? That one's looking like, like freaking crap as well. Oh, I thought I had to uh, disassemble. There we go. Okay, good. So that, we're going to pull that on off. Oh, what does it take to remove this camshaft? We're going to have to do like a hundred things to remove this. Hopefully not. Let's go ahead and spin around to the other side though. See what else we got going on over here. I'm sure there's plenty more ridiculous crap where this came from. Right over here. Um, all this looks pretty bad. Uh, as a matter of fact, the camshaft also looks like crap on... Oh, wow, I guess not. Um, how about this valve cover? Nope, valve cover's pretty good as well. Huh. I totally underestimated that valve cover. All right, well, we're gonna go with what we know. In general, all of the rusted pieces of the engine seem to surround each other. So, probably the rest of our problems is all in this cylinder here. Whatever. Is this even a cylinder? Yeah, combust... Oh, a combustion chamber. All right, let's test out the combustion chamber real quick. The combustion chamber's fine. Uh, how about the fuel hoses? Sometimes these can go bad. All right, those are pretty good as well. Now remember, there is an entire inside to this thing. Yep, there it is. I think this is the problem. How about the engine valve? There we go. Oh, you guys were saying glow plug, spark plug? I was just calling it spark plug because the game literally calls it a spark plug. So that's where I was going with that. How about the rest of these engine valves? What else? Man, we, we're gonna go deep into the heart of this freaking thing right here, boys. Ooh, hold on. There is a cylinder in here. I'm gonna test it because I'm really curious. Oh, cylinder's fine. How about our springs? Spring is shot, all right. We've got, that spring's okay. I'm just gonna check all these real fast because we might as well, we're gonna be pulling all kinds of stuff 
out of this uh, this one chamber right here. All right, so here's several of the items. Let's start pulling them off. Like I said, I don't know how much crap. Oh no. Oh wow. Oh, I have to pull all this off. All these valve tappets. Oh no. Oh god, I'll be back with you guys in a second. Well, they call me the valve tappet master of the universe. I've never had to remove so many freaking valve tappets in all my life. Good god. Down here by the combustion chamber, what else do we need to do? Oh, all these are coming off. Are they? Might as well test them. Since we're gonna have to pull them off anyway. I think that they look good. I haven't seen anything that looks unusual. We'll go ahead and check it out real quick. Oh, you know what? Hold on. Let me grab this mounting device right here as well. You never know. All right. So all these are fine. Let's go ahead and pull them right off. I'm really glad that this stuff just like pulls right off. I don't know if that's an accurate representation or what, but it is coming right off. These fuel hoses probably need to get removed. Connector's fine. Let's see, can this come off? Nope, we gotta remove everything else first. All right, so this is, we're literally taking this entire cylinder apart for the most part. All right, I think we're getting somewhere, man. Oh, all right, engine valves coming out. We got all kinds of these that are all jacked up. Several of them are shot. Uh, let's go ahead and pull this out right here. There we go. Now can we pull the cover off? No, we can't. There's a screw. Oh, it's the spark plug. All right, now can we pull it off? Yes, we can. All right. I think we've, oh my god, how many bad parts do we have right now? Do we have everything? We got them all, boys. All right, let's go ahead and throw everything together, get it fixed up, and get this big beast out of here. You know what percentages I like seeing, folks? 100 percentages. That's what I like seeing. 100 percent. Yes, indeed. Go ahead and put that right together right up in there. We've got a valve tap it. That's at 10 percent, but not anymore. Now it's at 100. I have so much money that if, uh, if we had a problem, we could throw money at it. Just just throw money at the problem. We call the we call money fun coupons. All right? Or fun tickets. They allow us to enjoy life to the fullest. Just just swip them out into the air, baby. Oh yeah, we're doing good. Right over here. Man, 100% for everything. We haven't had to bolster our bench in a long time. I'm pretty surprised about that. We only have the first, we, we, I think we only have the first level, don't we? Oh, right over here. There we go. Combustion chamber cover, 66%. Let's get that fixed up right away because, man, we got cash to spend. Uh, right over here by the mechanical part, not the mechanical parts, the shop, Gray. Oh, my God. Mechanic shop, 3500 bucks. I'll pay it. Okay, so we're now we're at the level three of five. So we have upgraded more than once. There we go, 100%. Bam. But that's gonna save us money in the long run. Now, this spark plug, I guess that would be, that wouldn't be by the hydraulics, right? No, okay, good, it's over here by the electrics. 100% for this though, I'm pretty happy about that. And we are set. All right, let's get this engine back together and send her on her way. All right, camshaft, just kinda slide this pole looking thing right in there, oh yeah. And now, oh, the valve tappets. Oh no. Oh, let me tell you. Let me tell you what my favorite part of YouTube is. Editing. Oh, yeah. And I'm going to be editing up a storm. Let me ask you something. Would you tap it? Would you tap that valve? I would, because it's how we make delicious money in the train world. Because no one else is going to do it. I think we're the only... Oh, no, we're not the only shop in town. Well, we are the only diesel shop in town. There's those electric scumbags and those steam scumbags. But we've got the diesel portion of training down pat. Go ahead and put these combustion covers on over here. Yes. You have no idea how many parts I've put on so far. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, I've been at it for so long. Valve tap it. Where have you been all my life? Let's go ahead and put down the hydraulic throttle mechanism, though. And then the... I think that this is almost it. Got the valve tap it down. Is that it? Is that it? Are we done? Put down the valve cover? Yes! Oh, oh, I think that's it! Finish order! Wow! What a freaking job! Okay, that was by far the most labor-intensive job we've had yet. Uh, uh-oh. What is this? What is this? There's a loading screen. What does it all mean? Oh! Yes! Yes! Oh, cool! I think we just unlocked the electric facilities, boys! That's awesome! We're gonna be working on electric trains! Sweet! Oh, I don't even know where to begin! Man! 
Look at the place we've got now. We are moving up in the world. And after I just call the electric guy scumbags, I inherit their shop. Or I'm just working for them. Who knows? Oh, this is awesome. Oh, there's a hole. Look at this. Look at this. Hold on. I'm freaking running around in circles. Let's go through the doorway. Oh, wow. That's some really, really nice looking glass. Look at this. Look, the crowbar followed us, but it's looking really good now. It was all jacked up and, and dusty before, but now we've got professional tools. It's a, look at this. Freaking Dell's coming out of the woodwork, donating PCs to us. We got a brand new freaking, uh, I don't know if that really looks like LED, but we got a monitor job order number one. Yes. Welcome to the electron, the electric locomotive roadhouse. Here you'll be dealing with much more complex machines to start with. We have received notification about a locomotive, which engine fell into strange vibrations. Yeah, look at this. All right, cool. Okay, sweet. Only two only two pieces here. It appears that the cause of the damage is the engine's mounting brackets. I know all about mounting brackets. I imagine they're all the same, right guys? Man, look at this. We got like freaking laser beams and stuff in here. That's what I'm talking about. Hold on, I gotta, I gotta get a good look at this train. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's what I've always wanted right there. That's what I'm talking about. What's weird is I don't think there's any steps in this particular place. Ooh. We're going to have to exit the garage as well eventually just to see what's out there. Okay. So, engine mounting. That was engine mounting brackets, right? Last time we were dealing with engine mounting brackets, it was over here, wasn't it? Um, Over here by the casing? Yeah, the electric motor casing. Let me, let me take a look. Let's take a real quick look-see here. Now, the engine, obviously, is up here. Oh, wow. Hold on. I already see something, I think. Hold on, hold on, hold on. That was cool. Look at this engine. Oh, yeah. Water cooling traction converter. See, this is cool to me because I don't know nothing. I don't, well, you guys know. I don't know anything about trains. Well, I, I know a little bit now. Um, but, like, this is the first time I'm seeing the inside of an electric train. So I wouldn't know. There's all your batteries. Whoa. I think I may have found the problem all the way from here. Look at this. Hold on. Let's, um, let me get out of this. And crap. What direction was it? I think it was over here. Did you guys see the engine mounting brackets that were all shot? Are they on this side? There it is. Right here. Right here. Right here. Yep. That's what I'm talking about. This is what we need. This looks very similar. I feel right at... Oh, you know what? Hold on. Let's freaking... We're going to rip this off without even looking at it. Hold on. Never mind. Once you start getting the bolts off, there's no turning back. <laughs> this thing's coming off whether it likes it or not. But I'm 99% sure that that is one of the items. Let's check. Yep, 16%. Whenever you take it off, um, remember, it automatically will tell you what the level is at. And we got one more item over here. And hold on now. Let me go ahead and pull my... Go ahead and pull my thing over in this way. Because I think right there, look at that. The engine motor mounting bracket. I don't even need to test it. I already know it's going to be it. But if it's not, I'm going to apologize profusely and write you guys a letter of apology in the form of a comment. Because I don't have a time to write every everyone letters. Please be right. Please be right. Please be right. All right. It just came off. And... And... That's not what I wanted to do. Yes! Okay, good. <laughs> um, well, oh, where are our new workbenches? Oh, it's probably these things over here. No? No, not at all. The workbenches are on this side, perhaps? Ah! Oh! Look at this. This looked like it would be a workbench, but it's not because... Oh, there are stairs. All right, the workbenches are over here. Nice. Hydraulic workbench. That's not what we want. Electrical workbench and the mechanics workbench. 100% on both these. We don't have to invest anything in this, which is kind of nice. So... Now, the upgrades that we made for, were for the diesel place. So, do they carry over? I'm assuming they don't. But let's take a look. Improve the workshop. Oh, they do carry over. All right. I'm increasing my screw gun a little bit then. In fact, you know what? I'm going to increase my screw gun up to level three. Because at this point, there's no reason not to. We're getting a ton of money. Um, and, I mean, we might as well use it. Let's dip on back in here. Go to the installation mode. We're going to throw this mounting bracket down right away. And let's see how fast our new screw gun is here. It says screw gun, but... You know... I don't know. I mean, are you guys... 
Are you guys really significantly feeling a difference? I almost feel like our money is better spent elsewhere. I mean, if we're having money coming out of our ears, then I guess there's no reason not to do this. But it just seems like I'm not getting we're not getting a lot of huge benefit for it. Alright. That should be the last piece. Order is done. 500 bucks plus I think another 500 bucks for being as cool as we are. I'm pretty sure. Or maybe it was 500 total. Yep, 500 total. All right, I thought it was a little bit more. I thought we did pretty good though. So that was it, man. That was our very first, our very first electrical, electrical train and crap. This is the work area. I do want to see what kind of jobs come next. Hold on. Let's go check this out real fast. Running right through here. Now I'm starting to learn my way around this place. Electric locomotive got stuck on the mountain pass in the vicinity of square B2. It was towed to the workshop and requires repair. Okay. Locomotive on the route E1. Find the faulty vehicle towed to the workshop. Okay. The driver has reported a failure of the control system. Find the defect and make repairs. Let's grab this job real quick. The reason why is because I want us to get the opportunity to drive the electric locomotive i want to see what that's like where do we get out of here though ah exit from the garage okay sweet what's it gonna look like here we are and it's the same engine it's the exact same one look at it it's the same engine we had like literally it's the exact same engine we had um e1 we'll go up there we won't do this job yet but i do at least want to take a look so e1 is basically straight ahead and to the right um so let's start moving along here. We're going to want to go to the West Asia Valley, I assume. Right? Hold on here. Tokyo Station West. There we go. It looks like it's in the canyon. This is like the only road that goes into D1. Like, D1 is such a little tiny area. There it is. I can see it already. And it's raining again. What's with this terrible weather we've been having lately, guys? What the hell? Um. Oh, that's cool. Someone said that you can use the... Uh, the... Uh, what is it? The W and the D key to, uh, to, uh, not the W and the D key, jeez, the, the A and the D key. <laughs> the A and the D key in order to move the tracks, and it seems like you sure can. So, we didn't even have to do anything to this. It is already hooked up to our train, so we're not going to have too many issues with it, but we're going to do that next time. Guys, hope you're enjoying Train Mechanic Simulator 2017. We are on electric trains. And there is a lot to these beasts. I really, that, that was neat. All the different components that we haven't worked on yet. Oh, the pain and the agony is going to be substantial, but I'm going to love it. I know you guys are always saying, leave it to Gray to break the game. You know, I hadn't broken this game yet, really. Other than, like, duplicating some parts and stuff like that. Well, guess what? I just broke it now. I had to show you guys this. This is so jacked up. So here we are. We're on some tracks, right? No big deal. But what's this? The circle of power is over there. That's where we need to go. What happens if we keep going in reverse? Well, there's a garage here. <laughs> but what'll happen when we go into the garage? What? Yes. <laughs> what? <laughs> what, have, what have I done? Look, we found like hidden tracks. Look at this. It's like a hidden part of the map because there's tracks out here. Like there's legitimate tracks. It looks like they're, maybe they're going to extend the map. Did we find, did we find the hidden beta test over here that they don't want us to know about yet? Check this out. There's little mountains and stuff over here too. What the hell was that? Hold on. Did you guys see that? Was that a train or was that us? This is, hold on a second. So... <laughs> Okay, so I assume that's the edge of the map. Hold on, let me keep let me keep moving through here and see what we can find. This is really weird. Um, I don't know if I can because normally, remember, you can press you can press the A and the D keys to move the tracks. Look at how tracks just like randomly appear every once in a while. Sometimes we're just driving on the grass. I don't know. Yeah, did you see that right there? Our train just split in half. Oh, this is so weird. Oh, man, there is just weirdness going on here. What in the world have we done? Like, <laughs> we, went through the, we went through the garage, and for a minute, we were just laying on the ground all alone and sad, and now we're just, like, going in circles. I don't know. This is really weird. I just had to show you guys this 
Um, I never would have known about this until I was pulling the electric train into the thing and I hit the um, I hit the track switch with the uh, the keys because it doesn't show up on here when you're moving the right direction so I hit it with the keys and it switched me over and I went right through that garage into this weirdness so I just thought you guys would think that was kind of funny I had to show you guys that alright guys that's it for now stay foxy and much love <laughs>